Welcome to Nansen AI, a new way to trade for on-chain investors and traders. So this is a mobile app that puts an entire research team in your pocket, accessible from anywhere 24 seven. Now, once you log in to your app, you'll be welcome to this home screen. Now this beautiful home screen has the Northern green lights in the background. And at the top, you're welcome to a message that tells you whether you're up or down that given day based on your portfolio. Right below that, you'd see your portfolio balance and how much percentage you're up by, as well as how much dollar value you're up by. Right below this, you see a given set of prompts. Now this is directly connected to your portfolio as well. And so you can then choose a prompt that it matches what your portfolio balance holds. And right below that, you have the Ask Nansen chat box. You can begin to type away or in the future, even speak away what you want to prompt. And you have two modes, expert mode, which helps, which thinks deeply about your prompt and then fast mode, which will give you a response in a matter of seconds. And so this is a great way to interact with the Nansen app and get responses about on-chain activity. Now, before we move forward, we'll go into the left. You can open up the menu and search for any prompts. Maybe I'll search for smart money, and then it'll share all of the different sessions I had in relation related to that keyword. And then right below that, you have your credits, which indicates what plan you're currently on, whether free plan or pro plan. And then you can also go into prompt packs, which gives you a whole set of new prompts you can select from. So if you don't have, if you're not really sure what to ask in Anson AI, you have a whole set here put into different categories like smart money, token discovery and entities. And if you hit see all, you can see all of the prompts in one view. If you click at the top right, you can then see what all of these prompt packs are and you can explore more, but we'll go back to the menu. And then you can scroll and see that there shows a bunch of recent sessions of the conversations you have. Now we'll talk about smart, smart alerts later, but right below here where I'm scrolling, you'll see a bunch of the recent sessions you have. Now, if you hold it down with your finger, you can then get an option to edit. So this can change the name of the conversation so you can find it better or choose to delete it. So you see all of these sessions I've had. At the bottom right, you see this little gear button. And if you click into it, that is your settings. So all of the settings in relation to the Nansen AI app. Now we'll go back to the home screen. And once you're at this home screen, if you click this little big button here, just go back to your portfolio balance. And you can also access this at the dot bottom menu on the center. And this is your portfolio balance. Now, if you choose, you click the little I button here, you can choose to hide your portfolio balance, show it. If you scroll down, you can see the gainers and losers, your overview. So we'll go into gainers and losers. So this gives you insight into all of your top performing and worst performing tokens. And you can also choose different time periods like so. So 24 days, 30 days, seven days, and you can then go into overview. You can get an overview of your current portfolio balance. And if you go into breakdown, you can then see where, which chains you're allocated into the most, which protocols, which addresses, and so on, and get a much more detailed view of your portfolio. So we'll go back here. Now, if we scroll slightly more down, we have transactions and you can see all of your transactions that happened for a given portfolio. And then if you top at the top right, you'll see you can choose the time period. And if you go to the top right button, you can then choose to filter your search so you can find transactions faster. Now, if you go to the bottom here, you have your profits and losses or PNL. And here you can see your realized and unrealized gains over a given time period, like the other screens. Now I'll go back and that is your portfolio balance. Now at the top right, you'll see a plus sign and I can choose to add a portfolio here. So if you have the address of a given wallet, you can choose to add it here. And if I can rename it however I wish, let's say portfolio smart money. And you can just also paste in the address here or even scan it through camera, scan a QR code through camera. Now, if I go back and the top little drop down here, you can choose from all the different portfolios you've saved. 
So you can choose any of the portfolios you've saved, whether it's your own or others, and just switch between different portfolios seamlessly. So you can see here. So at the top left, I can get a whole summary of the key on-chain events that's been happening with my top holdings in the past 24 hours for that given portfolio I've selected. So we give it a few seconds and voila, you see the AI agent has already begun to analyze this given portfolio. And this happened in just a matter of seconds. And much like every other conversation, you have suggested prompts that you can then work with. And if you want, you can also type in your own questions in the same conversation. So you see the suggested prompts that are provided below. Now, if I were to click one of them, how does my portfolio compare to what smart money is holding? You'll see it load up and in a few seconds, you already got a an analysis on that portfolio. So as you can see, chatting with an AI is super seamless, fast, and simple. Now on the bottom right, you'll notice this little button here. So this will take you to points. And so at the top, you'll see a bunch of tabs that you can choose from when it comes to nonsense points. And so we'll start off with rewards. So rewards, you have an indication card of what season we're currently on. So Nuts and Points is a multi-season journey. Currently, as of recording this video, we're on season one. You can also see how many points you have, what tier you are at, and how many NXP points you need to get to the next tier. If I hit earn more, I can see all of the different quests I can do to earn more points, whether they be onboarding, subscribing, staking, or referring and it gives you all of them in one clear view. If I scroll more now, I can see all the premium partners during that current season. So I can click into their individual card and see what kind of rewards I can redeem if I reach a given tier. Now I scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll notice season two is here and an add reward wallet button. If I click that, this is where I can add my own EVM and Solana wallet. And this is really great to be eligible to receive permissionless rewards. Now, if we go into history tab, you'll see a full history of all of the ways you've gained points. And so this is through all of the formats. If I click into one of the blocks, I can see in detail, when did I get the point, how much I gained and for what action I gained the point for. I can check into referrals, subscriptions, staking. And then I can also just decide to filter down by the given category. If I go into leaderboard, I can see where my position lies compared to other points holders. And this refreshes every five minutes. I can view more to see the full points leaderboard in picture. Now, if I wanted to check my position, I can hit the top right and I can choose my positions. And then at the last tab, you go into refer and earn. And this is a great way to share with your friends and other people you know that would find Nansen AI super useful. So you can copy the referral code and just paste it over into any chat. Or if I were to click this share on X button, then it will take me to X with a pre-made message that I can send out and tweet. If I go to the top right, I can also learn how to earn more points as I've talked about earlier from subscribing, staking, or referring. And then at the top left, if I get the rewards wall addresses, it's the same place where you can put input your EVM or Solana wallet to be eligible for permissionless rewards. Now, that's your portfolio and that coming back to home. What we can also do is check out smart alerts. So at the top right, if you hit that little bell button, you're at smart alerts. And this is all of the smart alerts that you've set up, whether on the web app or through the mobile app. So you can see all of these here. Now, if I were to hit the three dots, I can see in detail whether I want to turn on the alert or turn them off. I can also get an indication of what type of alert it is, the trigger times. And if I wanted to, I can also even delete directly from Nansen AI. If I want to create a smart alert, it will 
be open to the AI agent. And this is a seamless way where you can just ask it anything and it will track exactly what you ask for. So here I'll write down, track any large transfers of ETH over, let's say 1 million. But just to be a bit more specific, maybe $1 million. Because I don't want to say 1 million ETH, $1 million. Okay, press enter. And now the AI agent will do its job in a matter of seconds, will set up that smart alert for you. So no more manual toggling and setting up yourself. The AI agent will do everything for you seamlessly. And this happened in just a few seconds, as you can see here. Now, if I go back and refresh, the, the if I refresh it, you'll see at the top, large ETH transfers over $1 million. And I can see what type it is, trader times and so on. Now, this little top tab here is the feed. Now, as of recording this video, it is currently unavailable. It will be coming very soon, but this will give you a full feed of your alerts that are happening real time. So be on the lookout for that. And that is AI Smart Alerts. Oh, I almost forgot at the top, you can also filter by the type of alert you have. So it can easily find specific alerts based on their type. And coming back to the home screen, make sure to check out some of the prompts. As I noted at the beginning, these prompts are customized specifically to your portfolio. So this is what makes the experience super personalized when it comes to Nansen AI. If I were to click one of them, why is Pengu down today? Then this will get the AI agent to think and pull from on-chain and off-chain data. And the reason why it suggested that prompt is because for this current portfolio I'm connected to, Pengu is one of the larger holdings that I have. So now I can get a full picture of what's happening on chain and understand why my Pengu may have been down that day. If Pengu is pumping for whatever reason, then the prompt would change to why is Pengu pumping? And so if I wanted to open up the chat myself, I can also ask it whatever I want and type away and I can continue the conversation with the AI edge agent moving forward. And so as you can see, the conversational aspect of Nansen AI is what makes this app so fantastic and far faster than just tab switching through multiple dashboards on a day to day. So I hope that video helped to get you started with using Nansen AI. Keep in mind as of recording this video, this is the current interface of the app. Of course, as time passes, we will continue to improve and iterate on the UI and UX. So if you're watching this video at a later time and the interface looks slightly different, make sure to reference the rest of the guide as we will continue to update real time.